Hey guys, Ansari Sultan here from Networker Som. Today I am going to start new module. The module name is, name is FTD. So in this video series, I am going to focus on only the labs. So this is our overview about the FTD. It's an evaluation version of the SNOT, the SNOT based IPS and the source fire. And it's acquired by the Cisco on on a 2013 and is a rebranded to firepower the previously is known as a fire slide and firepower you can see in the firepower this fire this power is in a capital letter and the second one is a small letter and originally also is referred like a next generation firewall and gips nowadays this firewall is now often sold as a firepower threat defense means ftd and it's a combination of NGIPS and ASA with additional features. Additional features I'll tell you. Okay, and also known as the next generation firewall. Means this FTD is also known as the NGI and next generation firewall and the NGIPS next generation intrusion prevention system. Come to the next. You can see here in the previously we have a two device with the two different operating system means two images in the first first device it's a our firewall as a firewall and the second device is a our firepower next gen ng ips in a later in later in the we have a one device in a one device but uh, this is a one device but in this one device we have two different images first image is a firewall as a firewall and the second image is a firepower ng ips but nowadays we have a, we have one device with a one image FTD and the FTD is a combination of ASA and Firepower NGIPS. It's a combination of this ASA and NGIPS. And this FTD features so is a ASA features firepower features and other features in asa features we have a l2 l4 status stateful firewall application inter inspection net sel routing high availability and firepower features ips avc url filtering amp and in other features we have a security in intelligence and pre-filtering and more these are the fd features Okay, and this is a device manager means how can we manage our device our FTD device so we have a two ways first is a FDM and the second second one is a FMC and this FMC is a, and this FMC you can say is recommended means if you want to configure your firewall FTD by using F FDM so for each device you have a one FDM suppose in your environment you totally you have a three device three FTD so for each and every FTD you have to config you have one FDM so by using this FDM you can configure only this device for this device you need another second one and for this device you need third FDM so if you have a more than two or three device so it's a uh, very hard working like but by using FMC if you have a multiple devices in your premises like two three and four so you can centrally manage all the device by using fmc so it is recommended now come to the next okay now lab okay so in this in this lab i am going to do these two tasks first one is a configured ftd management management ip address through cli and the second one is configured fmc management ip address through the cli and for this lab my device username is admin and the password is admin123 a capital so come to the lab in this lab i need one fd ftd okay so select firepower and here you can see we have a fmc ng ips fmc and ftd for this lab i need these two device fmc and ftd select ftd save again click node firepower 
fmc and also i am going to change your name fmc and for this uh, for this lab i need one windows pc and four switch so quickly i am going to take all the devices so you can see quickly i configure this uh, topology in this topology i have one ftd with the ip addresses 192.168.1.101 and i took a four switch and i deploy one fmc with the ip addresses 192.168.1.102 and one windows pc for getting gui access and the ip address is dot 103 and this rest, rest of three switch i am using in the future lab upcoming link will upcoming lab so for this lab i am going to shut down all these three switch select stop stop now get the console of this ftd fmc and windows pc So this is my FTD, username is admin and the password is capital A D M I N 1 2 3. So you can see here successfully login. Give some space and you can see here please, en please enter yes or press enter to agree this EULA agreement just hit enter now enter a new password so I have to change my password so for FTD I am go I'm going to set password is F T D capital FTD and one two three again confirm F T D one two three okay here is asking for prompt like you want to configure you want to configure your IPv4 IP, IPv4 or not so yes we have to configure our ip addresses so hit enter because it's by default is selected yes you can see here why so click on yes you want to configure your ip version 6 no and configure ipv4 via dscp or manual so you can see here by default here set is a manual so simply i'm going to hit enter here I have to assign my IP address. So according to this topology, my IP address is 192.168.1.101. Hit enter yes. And the, my subnet mask is slash 24. So simply hit enter yes. So here we have to define the gateway. So my gateway is 192.168.1.222. This is my gateway. You have to configure according to your topology. Hit enter okay enter the fully qualified host name for this system so oh, i am simply re remaining this uh, enter the fully qualified host name for this system this is the firepower so simply i am going to hit enter okay enter the comma separated list or if you have a if you have a dns server like uh, 8.8.8 4.4.4 .4 .4, so you have to put here and if you have a more than one dns server so you have to mention like this 8.8.8.8 comma 4.4.4.4 so but according to this topology i don't have any dns server so simply i'm going to hit enter or none i can type none i don't want If your network information has changed you will be need to connect okay just wait my configuration has been configured in our ftd so you can see here we get one more option manage the device locally hit yes we're configuring the firewall mode to a router just wait Now you can see, now I am in a FTD, this is a symbol, by using this command I can show my network information, so network, you can see I configured the IP address 192.168.1.101 
and this is my default gateway this is my subnet mask hit enter and you can also configure your IP address like configure network question mark you have to select here which IP address you want to give IPv4 IPv6 so simply I am going to paste IPv4 again question mark so here it will be asking okay how can you are going to uh, if you want to use DSCP so you can mention here DSCP or if you want to add IP address manually so you have to type manual here again question mark now here we have to mention 192.168.10102 or 101 depend on your topology what IP address you want to assign here then submit mask in the last you have to define your default gateway so this is the second method to assign the IP address first one is when you are con when you are booting your FTD first time then it will be asking you some information okay you want to configure your fire your FTD or not what is your IP address what is your default gateway what is your DNS okay that one is the first method and this is the second method when you are in a FTD so you have to type this command configure network IPv4 manual your IP address subnet mask and default gateway and simply hit enter you can see now you can see my network setting is changed now fire so network you can see this is our network 101 and this is our default gateway and this is our subnet now come to the FMC same admin admin 123 and this FMC is a Linux based operating system so here we have to first fire sudo sudo su as a super user the password is admin 123 now we have to configure our network so the command is when you press two time tap so you can see this much uh, option we have so my command is configure configure network hit enter now it will be asking okay do you do you wish to configure ipv4 so type yes why okay here we have to type ip address 192.168.1.102 hit enter okay the management uh, the management next mark is slash 24 simply hit enter here we have to define our default gateway 192.168.1.222 simply hit enter okay are these settings are correct yes why hit enter do you wish to configure IPv6? No. Up, okay, update network configuration. Okay, it took time. Okay, uh, let's check. And this is a Linux based Linux based operating system. So how can we check the IP address? If config. Hit enter, and you can see here. Ethernet zero, and this is our IP address. 192.168.1.0 with the slash 24 subnet mask and now try to ping try to ping our FTD so simply ping 192.168.1.101 okay 101 is my FTD IP address hit enter you can see we have a successful reachability control C for cancelling this ping now come to this windows pc login test one two three here we have to assign the ip address change adapter setting property ipv4 and this windows pc ip address is 
192.168.1.103 and the same default gateway I am going to give triple two hit enter ok close and first check the reachability do we have a reachability with our FTD and FMC so 192.168.1.101 so to the FTD we have and what about FMC so we have a successful reachability open the Google Chrome and try to get the GUI access so HTTPS colon slash slash FTD IP address one HTTPS colon slash slash 192.168.1.101 this is my FTD IP address and HTTPS colon slash slash HTTPS colon slash slash 192.168.1.102 this is my FMC IP address come to the first step advance proceed Come to the second tab, advance, proceed. So you can see here, we have a successful reachability to the FTD and we got the GUI access of FTD. And same as it, this FMC and this is the FMC GUI. So you can see here this is a FAF. <coughs> so you can see here this is our firepower device management manager FDM. So we can configure our FTD by using this FTD FDM, but for this lab I am going to use this FMC. Okay, just for verification, try to log in admin and I changed my password. So what is my password? FTD. 1, 2, 3. Hit enter. Okay, this is the problem. Please try to manage login with the CLI. Okay, we have some issue. No problem. Come to the FMC. Try to login. Admin. Admin 1, 2, 3. So you can see here we have a successful reachability and our password is also correct. So this is our lab. We successfully got the GUI access of F3D and FMC. And we have a reachability from our Windows PC to FMC and F3D. So this is our lab and in upcoming lab in next video I am going to show like we can change our password, we can also change the, our IP address and rest of other things. So this is our lab, thank you.